Okie doke, so uh, how am I going to do this? Um, well, I think I'm just going to tell you, uh, okay, it's still part of the narrative. Uh, this is the way I'm going about it anyway, so yeah, I'm going to have to, actually I'm going to have to move this thing over here. Well, it's not too bad. I'm not causing too much grief with the light. Um, so this is still part of the narrative, like I haven't, uh, the way I'm looking at it, uh, as long as I don't stray away from the narrative doing things just for the sake of doing something or, um, yeah, yeah, as long as I stay that way, uh, you know, I just go, okay, you're doing okay. Because um, this is a rash decision, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, Ruski's Risk. Um, yeah, this was a toss-up. I didn't know what the heck to do here. So I was like, you know what, let's go nuts. Um, so the movement has been done for the supply points and the replacement units. Everything's gone over. Uh, way the heck over here, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, just maybe. Um, the 9th and the 5th Army, well the 5th Army got the 10 supply points. The 9th Army got the replacement units. Oh my gosh, there are so many replacement units sitting around. It's not funny, not doing anything right now. I actually I feel sorry for the 32nd and the 9th Divisions. They were sitting here, they just got brought in uh, last turn to be um, brought up to full strength and now they've been sent out. I sent the 32nd over here to uh, pump them up and these are the worst people I feel sorry for. I think I also sent the 2nd and the 17th off the check but uh, over to here. So what I did was so yeah there's going to be seven combats. I'll, I'll bring it in more so you can see and then uh, the next video is going to be the combats but it's going to be long and I uh, just uh, because I'm going to be using um, Jeopardy time or whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, there we go. Yeah, with the sock because uh, that's what's going to happen. So all I did here, I'm going to move it back a little. There we go. Um, so all I oh Jesus, sorry. Uh, so all I did here. So okay, these guys are going to attack here, as you can see, unsupplied. These guys are going to attack here, unsupplied. I moved these guys, they were here, uh, who were they? That's 63, so I can check. It doesn't really matter, I'll talk about all this stuff later. Uh, well, or maybe now, quickly. Um, yeah, so the, yeah, let's see here. Where's the good stuff? Uh, so I moved the 19th Infantry Division they, um, from here to here, so that was the 19th. And so they're, the reason being is because they can now be fully supplied, so they're four strength points, Therefore, there are 12, that's 4, and that's 2, that's 3, and that's 4. So they're going to go unsupplied. I just wanted to show you the arrows. I'll take them off now so that way um, you can see maybe a little bit more. But at least you get the idea. I'm just going to go one at a time. Uh, it feels weird in one way because... Yeah, welcome to two cups of coffee, Chris. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, i got to go and eat something proper after this. So I'll do this quickie video and then I'm going to... But man, maybe the next one or two are going to be pretty long because this is seven combats. And I'm using that Jeopardy time thing or whatever, you know, with the socks. So uh, the weird thing is, I guess, is it's because I want to do a broad front attack. Um, let's just go for it. Uh, the Ruski and the Third Army now have 10 supply points. Let's go for it. So number seventeen. Yeah, oh, hold on. I'll just grab the book out, and we can talk about it quickly. And then I'm just, and then later on, it, uh, like I said, the next video will be the. Um, oh, and on a side note, I'm so glad I remembered to say this. Um, I was uh, on a video thing last week with a fellow gamer. I'm not kidding you. I am not flippin' kidding you. The person used uh, the term Alberto marker like it was a real thing. Like, it just came out of their mouth. <laughs> and you have no idea inside. Oh, God, I don't know what you want to call it. I had a Care Bear moment or what, but I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this happened. I was so happy. Jesus, it felt good. Anyways, let's go to number 17 here, and I'll tell you what's there. So these guys are the, uh, the 78th Reserve Infantry Division and the 60th Reserve Infantry Division, so basically nothing. They're going to go up... A across uh, the river. No, uh, you, um, you know, these guys are going to get the river bonus. And like I said, we're going for it. Uh, see what happens. Let's see what sticks and see what breaks. That's the way I'm going to look. And maybe it's going to be amazing. Maybe. 
Uh, number 20 is going to be the 33rd Infantry Division. Uh, and then these poor bastards. There was two divisions that got shifted over to here. And like I said here, I, I've broken the river bonus against the trench, but I want to do a broad front attack. Um, I don't want to get into this Brusilov blunder thing where we got maybe get stuck out here and everybody else didn't work and then the Austrians just... I just want to see what happens. I really, as a... Um, as a commander here, it's like, you know what, let's try this. And let, like I said, let's see what sticks, Austrian-wise, hopefully nothing, and let's see what breaks. Um, so that's number 20. Uh, number 16, holy moly, did a lot of people go towards there. Like I said, some of them are probably, probably like, what the hell just happened? Um, yeah, the 9th, the 5th, and the 42nd all went uh, towards to here. So that's 12 strength points now. They, so these guys will be supplied, 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 unsupplied, unsupplied. Uh, so they're going across the bridge, across the river, uh, through an entrenched position. Uh, sweet Jesus jumping. That's going to be interesting. That's all I got to say. And then um, number 23 is... The 69th Reserve Infantry Division and the 32nd Infantry Division. Um, and then number 63, who's left? I think I said it was the... Oh, it's the 19th Inf Infantry Division and then number 19 is... who are just recently acquired uh, <clears throat> under the command of Third Army. And it's like, hello! Uh, you just got new orders. A new commander and new orders. You got to do it attack and you've been sitting here for over a month doing absolutely sweet pee all and uh, new commander by the way you got to attack unsupplied and that's the 14th infantry division and number 39 like I said I just want to see what the hell's gonna happen um, it could be amazing this could be an amazing breakthrough um, for the Russians like a, a, maybe uh, like a to counter this because at the point at the rate it's going now <clears throat> The way I'm looking at it, the way this is c completely collapsed for the Russians, um, this is like, if this, this is a massive victory, or it could be turning into a massive victory for the Austrians, you know, this would be talked about for years, for Christ's sakes. Um, you know, it's so weird to think, and no one will ever know who the hell Brusilov is. This is so weird. But like, will it be in 1916? Will there be, will there, will there be um, you know, the Ruski offensive? Who knows, man? Uh, but if I get my way with the Central Powers, it won't be a Russia. Uh, 14th Infantry Division is here. And that's, uh, sorry, number 39. I did that wrong, sorry. Uh, that's the 13th Infantry Division. So there we go. Uh, I've got seven combats to do, um, five of which will be supplied. And, uh, yeah, and then, I mean, these guys, this thing's going to diminish rather fast, but, um, so it could not be a very sustained attack. Um, we'll see what happens. And maybe it was a rash decision to make because maybe they should have started shifting stuff over. But maybe this is the best thing to do now is to uh, to attack before the Austrians and the Germans can start to um, react. I don't know. We'll see. That's why you, know, you roll the dice. Okay. See you in a bit.